Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and recently I picked up the Samsung S95B QD OLED television, and the reason it's a good time for me to buy it is because now they put them on sale because the C series is coming out very soon. But on this video, I want to show you guys all the picture qualities and tests I normally do in this video, and then we're gonna compare it against the LG C2. The biggest thing I will tell you is that it's much brighter. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. So I decided to pick up the 55 inch and they do make it in the 65 inch as well. The first thing you would do is cut off the straps on both sides of it to get access to the TV inside. Then you would just pull off the top layer to expose all the insides in the foam and packing and it comes with a power cord which is three prong, an audio output adapter, as well as a remote control and instruction book. It also comes with these back covers to conceal the wires but they are made out of plastic and a little flimsy if you ask me. Next, I pulled out the base, and it comes with a quick set guide as well to help you put it together. You definitely want to use two people when you're unpacking this TV and setting it up because the TV is so thin that it'll really make you nervous that you're going to damage it. And I highly recommend that you do not put this TV together by yourself. In fact, I would probably pay for the installation guys to do it. That way, you're not at risk. And with this new design, you just snap on the bottom foot, do all your wire maintenance, snap on the back covers, and then you wanna go through your setup menu. And in just case you didn't know, Samsung has a blue tab in the corner, and that lets you know there's a screen protector that you need to remove. And now the TV is ready to go. Now I put this TV through a lot of tests, and you can see that the contrast ratio actually picks up more detail than any other television that I've shown on this channel. And you can see that it has consistent white levels. I mean, this TV is very uniform. One thing that really stood out is this dot test. You can see every single pixel that's popping out to make this TV as bright as I'm gonna show you later on in this video. Now with factory settings, I did a motion test. It was actually doing pretty decent. Paired to the LG C2, you can see that it's a lot more smoother and this is both TVs in filmmaker's mode. And when it comes to blooming on this TV, you can notice there is some white light coming around the logos, but it's expected the brighter you make a TV at this point, you're gonna have some extra light glowing out, but this is actually gonna help out HDR content to make everything look more vibrant. And when it comes to glare, this TV does a fantastic job. So if you have it in a dark room or a room with a lot of lights, I think you'll be very satisfied because the anti-glare coating does an excellent job reflecting lights happening in the room. You will get some glare, but not a lot. Before I continue this video, I just wanna do a PSA. If you own the LG C2, Keep in mind the 48 inch is not as bright as the larger models, but it's what I have available in the studio. And this video is non-biased. I purchased both of these TVs, so let's continue. The S95B is considered a flagship TV, so as expected, it has four HDMI 2.1 inputs that can support your newer gaming consoles up to 4K at 120 Hertz. And additional to that, it also has the ATSC 3.0 tuner so you can get the next gen content when it's available in your area. Also, I want you guys to know if you decide to get a S95B and a 55 or 65 inch, they do not come with the one connect box. And this is a Samsung product that allows you to run one single cable over to the TV for all your inputs. And then remotely, you can plug everything in. And ideal is for someone to have a TV up on the wall and have everything down in a console below. Another thing to point out is that the S95C also supports up to 144 hertz in 4K, assuming that you have a powerful enough graphics card. And this is only in spurts with variable refresh rate. Now let's take a look at some demos on this TV. And of course, at the end of this video, I'll run some longer ones that you can take a look at. But for me, the biggest thing that stands out is not only that it's bright, but the colors are rich and it has really good black levels as well. I mean, when you buy a TV like this, I think you're gonna be very satisfied, especially if you're watching a lot of HDR content like I do, because I'm subscribed to Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and a few other services. And I wish I could show you guys that footage, but because of copyright reasons, we had to stick to these demos that I have available. And here's what it looks like next to the LG C2. And I still think it's a fantastic TV, but when you put it side by side against this S95B, you can just see how much more brighter the picture is. 
A lot may say that the LG looks more natural, and I could agree with you, but here's some demos so you can make a decision for yourself. Next, let's go back to over to the S95B and talk about gaming. Well, first of all, Samsung does a really good job at gaming. In fact, now they have a gaming mode built into their software that you can go in and you can do cloud gaming, plus you can have all your consoles lined up so everything is in one place. They also have a pop-up menu on the screen just like the LG, and it allows you to see your frames as well as your VR, your HDR, and a few other settings that you can go through. You can set up your surround sound and HDR tone mapping. And with the HDR10 Plus Gaming, it's going to produce the most accurate representation that the gamer developer intended for you to see. The TV will support your 60 hertz game, 120 hertz games, as well as your auto low latency and your variable refresh rate. In other words, this TV is built for gamers. I wanted peace and safety for people. I wanted chorus, eternal harmony for everyone. Besides being an excellent TV for gaming, I want to try it out on a computer. So I plugged in my MacBook Pro and it looks fantastic. And the great thing is, if you are editing HDR content, you can use the native HDR built into this TV so you get the correct lighting and the details. And it's also great for checking the news, surfing the web, or using any of your productivity software like Microsoft 365. Now the audio system in this TV is actually pretty good. Here, take a listen. Now it doesn't have a lot of settings, but you can go in and change the balance. You can control the EQ, plus you can use eARC for Dolby Vision pass-through, and it does have auto volume, and you can hook this up to multiple sources at the same time, thanks to the Q Symphony. Some other features that you will enjoy about the Samsung S95B is that it has ambient mode, and inside of here, you can go in and select different backgrounds, so whenever you're not using your TV, it can display that, and I will tell you that it will produce a beautiful picture up on your wall or on your favorite TV stand. It's powered by the Tizen 6.5 operating system that has plenty of applications in the App Store. You also have a web browser, and it also connects to a lot of your favorite Samsung products like the Gallery and the Health App Store. With the multi-view, this is gonna allow you to watch two sources on the same screen. So you could have a gaming console, application or your mobile device planned at the exact same time and you can easily resize the picture anytime you want to make one larger or smaller. So as you can see the S95B has a lot to offer even though the C series coming out maybe you want to consider going with the B series and save some money but that's completely up to you. I hope I showed you guys enough demos so you can make the best buying decision should you go with the S95B or the C2 and if you own either of these TVs, I would love to get some feedback in the comments below. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace! Thank you.